So welcome back to a brand new episode of the Washington Wizards My GMO. It's right now we're 38 and 15. We've lost one in a row. 88 team Cam Hunter fan interest. We're second in the Eastern Conference and first in the Southeast Division. Of course Boston's ahead of us because that's usually what it is. Right behind us is Brooklyn, a 32 and 20 record. So we're safely in front. We're 5.5 games back. So we're basically about six. If we lose like six games, then oh well. It's still the same, but San Antonio is 44 and 11. So we're not that far off from first in the NBA. We're not too far off. We could still make it. And power rankings, third in NBA.com's, third in 2Ks, and third in Mark Spears, as usual. GM power rankings, I'm fi fifth. What? Why is Charlotte even in there? They're 29 and 23. Boo hoo. Oh, they didn't make any trades at all. Oh my god. Is this thing stupid? Wow. That's dumb. That is dumb. So right now we're basically trying to get a better record than 54 and 28, which we might. We have, a, we have an opportunity to get better. But uh, anyway, league leaders. Ferguson's got a pretty good amount of points per game. 20.9. For once, we actually have a player who's proven and does well almost in every game. It's a good thing. So we're basically at the trade deadline right here. It's crunch time. Should we make a big move? Go with the series of the Big Bang? Or play it safe and take our chances in the playoffs without a big trade? We could make either one of those. But first, Scott Taft would like to talk to you about a broken promise. I don't know if I want to do that because last time that happened... It knocked off 10 morale of everybody on the team. I don't know if I want to do that. We could trade him away because we don't use him anyway. And Andrew Wiggins like talked to you about increasing the training intensity. But, uh, okay, so trade block. Looks like we're going to put Scott Taft up on there. One thing we're going to put on there is that Hawks and that Raptors pick. Because we have no use for it. It's our last season on here. Makes no sense to even... Leave it there. Drafting first overall, boohoo. The players suck in the first o in like first overall. There's no good players this draft. It's probably one of the worst drafts, draft classes of all time. It's so bad. From what I've seen, like the highest potential guy, second overall is a B, a freaking B. You want a guy who's like an A minus potent, <clears throat> A minus potential, because we're good at point guard, we got a shooting guard, we're good at power forward. Good center. The only position that I'm really kind of iffy about is small forward with Andrew Wiggins at the helm. He's got good shooting, B in every category, or B minus. B perimeter defense, C minus inside, which is pretty good. C playmaking, D plus in rebounding, C, C plus in physicals, A minus in basketball IQ, which is good. And his potential is a B. Uh, but the one number one thing about him is his badges, though. His badges are pretty good. Uh, where are they? There they are. So he's got perimeter lockdown defender, pick dodger, lob city finisher. He's a player who never goes on cold streaks. That's good. Defensive leader who helps his teammates perform better defensively. We need that. Elevates his game when being outplayed by his matchup. When an opponent's on fire or gets his team, or when his team is down late in the game. That's good. Heart and soul rallies the team together when things are getting out of hand. We, that's good. He's a tough love guy. Laid back player. Legendary work ethic. Low eagle. Ego. Mind games. Can get into the head of the opponent. Steps up his, time, his game in games of great significance, which is like playoffs. And he's a road dog. That's a lot of good badges. A lot of good badges. But one thing... I found out was if you go into the team intel <clears throat> where is that team intel there it is if you go to the Celtics check Diallo one of their big members of their big three basically is on the trading block same with Isaiah Briscoe and Joel Embiid and some other player so I have no idea what they're what why they even put check Diallo on the trade block he isn't doing anything wrong Unless they're worried about salary for next year. But that'd be funny if they made a trade that ended up screwing them over so badly. 
That would be really funny. But one option we could get is propose a trade for Czech Diallo. Same shooting for him, just just all Bs. C minus inside defense. Andrew Wiggins had like a B. Perimeter defense C plus. Playmaking C plus. Rebounding C plus. B minus physical. B minus basketball IQ. B plus potential. His badges are pretty decent. Ex excels in spin layups. Starts fast breaks with accurate outlet passes. Alley loop. I mean lob city. Spin kingpin. Chase down artist. Posterizer. Friendly, hardened, work, high work ethic, laid back player, low ego, road dog. So he doesn't have as many of those, uh, what are these even called? These blue badges. He doesn't have as many as Andrew Wiggins. One thing he brings to the table is veteran leadership. He's won the NBA title three times with a good team in Boston. He's an eight time All Star. In one of the best players in this franchise, or in, in this my GM mode, this like his stats are pretty good. He's won, yeah, he's been Finals MVP two times in his entire career, and uh, yeah, he's he's just pretty good overall. I'm just trying to see. Okay, here it is. So where is driving dunks? Not 75, not too bad. Wall control 79. Oh, we should probably do it. Wait, you could do a comparison. Ah, uh, player comparison. This thing is so useful. Andrew Wiggins and the Celtics. Celtics, not DeLon right? Wait, they got DeLon right? No, it's Clippers. What the heck? Where is. There he is. Check Diallo. So defensive IQ, perimeter defense, three point scoring. So Wiggins' offensive IQ. His weaknesses are check the weaknesses are post defense, low post offense, and steals. Wiggins' is, uh, weaknesses are post defense, low post de offense, playmaking, and rebounding. Basic information. So Chuck Diallo is six foot nine. Andrew Wiggins is six foot eight. So Check is is taller. Check is fatter. They're both from Kansas. Wingspan is a little bit bigger for Check. Check is one year younger for some reason. I thought Wiggins was younger. Uh, is this? So grades. So offensive, defensive IQ, B plus for Wiggins, which is great. And check the out C. Perimeter defense, per offensive IQ, B for Wiggins, C for Diallo. Offensive IQ slash defensive IQ, B for Wiggins, B minus for Diallo. Three point scoring slash perimeter defense, B for Wiggins, B minus for Diallo. Athleticism is the same. Okay. So Wiggins averages 26 minutes per game. We should probably play him a lot more. Especially considering when his badges are. Uh, he's got less points than him, which is obviously due to his minutes. Re he has less rebounds, which I don't play. Well, Diallo is a bigger guy, too. So I mean, that's why he's able to get more rebounds. He's get hit. Diallo is 9.3 defensive rebounds compared to Wiggins' 1.8. Diallo has more assists. Wiggins has more steals. More blocks for Diallo. More fouls for Diallo and more insane amount of turnovers. Aggregates. Attacking the basket is B for Diallo, C plus for Wiggins. Low post offense. They're both bad. Creating your own shot. They're both pretty good. Playmaking, not too bad. Rebounding, not too bad. Actually, Wiggins is terrible at rebounding. Diallo is pretty good. Athleticism is the same. Post defense is both bad. Perimeter defense is not too is pretty good, I guess. Steals, Diallo's bad steals, Wiggins is good at steals. Blocks, Diallo's way more is but way better at blocks than Wiggins. And offensive IQ, B for Wiggins, B plus for defensive IQ. And for Diallo, it's offensive IQ is C, defensive IQ is B minus. Skill badges. 
yeah, he's got a lot more skill badges. Personality, at least. He almost has all of them. He just doesn't have hardened, friendly, and high work ethic, because he has legendary work ethic. But Diello has more of the gold badges, though. Hmm. Shot. They're about the same. About the same. Huh. So I have no idea what to do. I don't know if I should compare the. We'll compare ourselves against the Celtics here. We're both basically the exact same teams. Spread consistent pick. So we lost last game against Celtics. Doesn't really matter. Hmm. Okay. So we have better center, obviously. Points per game were second in their first. Points allowed. Hmm. Now we're basically top 10 for every stat except points allowed and steals. And we're not that far off in the steals either. Shot, we're about the same. Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. It's, in, it's crazy. The only way to make that Diallo trade is if we give up that trade, but we have to give up some salary. Otherwise, we're over the salary cap. So one thing I could do is do one thing for the Raptors pick. Just the Raptors pick. Just see what it is. Because you never know what you're going <coughs> you never know what you're going to get. Let's see who wants the first overall pick. It's Philadelphia, no. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's not too bad. We're giving up Chase Jeter though too. Juan Garcia. LA Clippers. Gene Stewart. Atlantis picks, nope. Darrell Green, no. Dino Popovic, nope. Nope. Tommy Roberts, no. Victor Oladipo, nope. Mario Zanja, nope. Even though he's not that bad, though. Shooting's good. Athleticism's decent. Potential's decent. His badges aren't too bad, either. Gets himself going by making big plays. Wildly inconsistent, though. Leo Pearson, no. Daniel Carson. Hmm. He's a shooting guard, though. Uh, Lance Stevenson. And back to Giannis. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's no players on here that I can find that would easily help us. So, is there any great defensively player defensive players that are just severely underrated? There's Sean Norton. He's not too bad. Perimeter defense is pretty good. His athleticism is pretty good too. Sean Norton. He is young though too. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, anyone else? Check Diallo. They want Bob Ellis Jr. and Mo Wilkes. I don't know if I can give him Bob or Mo. Mo. Rudolph Daly and Chase Jeter. Nope. Way too much. It's all about that salary, though. That's what it is. It's all about salary. Nothing else. Hmm, Kyrie Irving, nope. Taku Fall, don't want him back. Anyone else? He has a pretty good amount of badges. There's John Wall. They don't want to trade him. He's got a pretty good amount of badges. Good playmaking. Let's see him. Excellent spin layups. 
Flashy passes. Lee passer. Pick and roll maestro. Step back freeze. Interceptor. Closer steps the game up in the fourth quarter in overtime when the game is close. Fierce competitor. Tough love guy. Gets himself going by making big plays. Be nice to get John Wall back. Be like a homecoming. If we add in our Wizards first round pick and a second. Because I want to add some veterans under this team. I'll easily give you. Uh, Derek Swanson? Yeah. Why didn't this make? Oh, salary. That's right, John Wall is a big salary. God damn it. If John Wall did not have that, did not have that salary, we'd be fine. Why not that? More than nine million. Why can't we go to the salary cap? That's dumb. Chris Nash, Henrik Walgren. Still not enough, huh? Scott Taft. Still not enough. Holy smokes. Can't even get John Wall back. That is sad. Okay, anything, anyone else? Preferably low salary. Stanley Johnson. His perimeter defense is still good. Hmm, might be cool to get him back. Always liked his defense, always admired that. He doesn't drop too many points, so that's his problem. Anyone else? RJ Hunter. Good shooting. Terrible defense. So he's basically like a... Uh, what should I call it? Jens Meyer. Clyde Brock. Anyone else? Josh Richardson. Good shooting. Terrible de defense. Hmm. There is nobody. Rashad Vaughn. He's not too bad. His shooting's pretty good. All A minuses. His defense isn't that great. His playmaking's not that good. Potential's not that good, but. I don't know. He's not that bad. I do like his shooting, though. I really like that. Hmm. 11 points per game. He's pretty good at shooting. I have to say that. I admire his shooting. Was an NBA champion. Jens Meyer is pretty good at shooting too. Yeah, he's basically just like Jens Meyer, but Jens can't play defense. And we're tight on salary cap for some reason. We can't make any good big, big trades at all. Jens Meyer and Derek Swanson for Rashad Vaughn. Pretty good shooting guard. Getting putting it off a crappy team. Hmm. Athleticism. Athleticism. Yeah, everyone's about the same. Does he have any badges too? He's got five badges. It doesn't tell me if he's a tough love guy. That's, his pro that's the problem. Ugh. This annoys me so much. How about this? Hawks Raptors pick. Scott Taft. 
and Derek Swanson. There's got to be some type of trade we can make. Samuel Stinson, Giannis, Ante Dekumbo. We're giving up Rudolph Daly. I'm not giving up Rudolph Daly. Is this thing stupid? I just wanted to give up Andrew Wiggins to get check. Don't want to do that. Bradford Glover. Just East Winslow. Elson Irving. Tyler Wise. Nerlens Noel and Giannis. Oh my god. Get rid of Scott. Oh, what? Just two picks. Oh my god. Why isn't this thing working so much? I just want to make some trades here. Come on. Evan Blunt? No. Giannis. You're giving up Chase Jeter. can Giannis do? Hasn't really done much. He's tall, 6'11". IQ's good. He's not that bad at everything. He's one of those players that are pretty much average. They could do anything. Helps younger players stay focused in the game when they commit mistakes. Elevates his game. So he's like, he just like Wiggins with that fierce competitor badge. He's friendly. Hmm. If only we can get Diallo without giving up Andrew Wiggins. That'd be really good. So we could stack our team to the core here. Now that would be awesome. Oh. Come on. Come on. I don't know if I want to get up Andrew Wiggins just because of his badges. His badges really help him out. Ah, I think our team is good. I don't believe there's any trades you can really make. Well, let's we'll try. Get that Scott Taft. But I really want to get rid of that pick though. You have no reason to even have that pick. You got it in that Cedric Mayo trade, which is pretty much a steal now. No little for Peyton. CC Hayward. I could give up for a Phoenix pick. Hmm. 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 The heck? Bryce Cotton. Wait, why can't we go and give up Scott Taft, Chase Jeter, and uh, those picks? Gotta mean for something. There's gotta be something available for that. Evan Blunt, no. Julian Wade, no. And Giannis, too. Yeah. Sean Norton, Jermaine Keith, no. Check the yellow, but we're giving up Mo Wilkes, too. Mo Wilkes, I don't really want to give him up. We giving them way too much bench. Ah, I really want to get checked, but I can't get him. Get rid of Mo Wilkes. We'll give you. Can't even give you Jensmeyer either. Give you. Hmm.
I don't want Jens Meyer coming back to haunt me, that's for sure. Henrik Walgren's pretty good. The heck? This would work. We're getting back some crappy players, but they'd be getting Chase Jeter, Scott Taft, Jens Meyer, and Henrik Walgren. I don't know if I want to take that chance. We'll, we'll be getting back. Check the allo. They'd have better bench. And that's the thing that kills them, isn't their terrible bench. Scott Taft, he wasn't even that good for me at all. Five points per game. So what? I think he scores some points. Jens Meyer. That's the one I don't really don't really want to give up. All due to his salary. I can get up Chris Nash too. Dirk Swanson. I have no idea what this kid is a is like. Athleticism sucks. Henrik Walgren. Raptors pick Chase Jeter. And Scott Taft. Uh, Jace Jeter's got rebounding. Inside scoring's not too bad. Post defense is good. That's why you've had him. He gets a lot of rebounds. That's his problem. We would be adding Check Diallo onto the team. For one, we'll be have a pretty good roster for one. Final push at the finals hmm uh, uh, uh. one thing I don't want them doing though is taking this pick and going around and flip it for something else that's the only thing and I have, I have no idea if we even need to check the yellow that's the only problem But he's been playing so well for them. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Doing this, getting this Raptors pick would be a waste if we don't get anything with it. That's the thing. If we don't get anything with it, it'd be a waste because it'd be the end of the series. And we would be upgrading. We, because we right now, Chase Jeter's barely getting any minutes. Scott Taft's barely getting any minutes. Walgren's barely getting any minutes, and Derek Swanson gets nothing. There's two nothing players. He's probably signed the free agency. And power forward, who all he does is get rebounds, doesn't score often. And Scott Taft, who's a decent player, but he's not that good. I was scared about that Cidic Mayo trade, but it's not even that bad. You know what? It's the last year. Why not try this? This is probably the dumbest trade I'd ever make. But let's try it. Oh my god. We now have Czech Diallo on the team for this trip playoff push. Newest Washington Wizard, Czech Diallo. Wiggins, you're sitting on the bench. Czech, welcome to the team, pal. Great to see you. So Czech, he is... Still can't believe we got Czech Diallo on the team though. We had to get part with that Raptors pick. Who cares? That pick is gonna get nothing. 
A B minus potential guy is not good. But they, they get Scott Taft and Chase Jeter. Chase Jeter, all he does is get rebounds. He's nothing. Our team is easily over the best team in the NBA with this roster. Super, like, this is almost like the Toronto Blue Jays here. I'm like the Alex Anthopoulos of this squad. What? The fans are wrong. Check Diallo is one of the best players in the league. Severely underrated. Finals MVP last year. Finals MVP the last time. The, yeah, the last two times. No, no. The, the, yeah. He was Finals MVP for two of the three Celtics championships. He's consistently played well throughout the years. Now, let's bring on this playoff push. And I think it was a great trade. I think it was probably the best trade. One of the best trades I've made. But we'll see. We will see. We'll check out the Celtics roster here. We don't give up Wiggins. That's the number one thing. So right now, they have Chase Jr. in the starting lineup. Shannon Riley, Josh Jackson, Briscoe, Philip Guerrero, Scott Taft, Ari McDonald, Henrik Wahlgren. That's about it. So this squad seems a little bit better, but ours is supercharged with talent. Just bursting with talent, basically. So we got Diallo, we got Steven Ferguson, we got Moutier, we got Bob Bells Jr., we got Rudolph Daly, Loney Baldwin, Andrew Wiggins, Danny Campbell, Mo Wilkes, Jens Meyer, Chris Nash, pa Paolo Pesola, Warren Rogers, and that's it. I think we're pretty good. Is there any free agents that we could sign to build this? Ray Sparks, Lentavares. Hmm, Dante Rice. Jordan Adams. Good at threes, good at mid range. Terrible at defense, it's a problem. Max Stevenson. Bad at shooting. Adrian Sparks isn't that bad. IQ sucks, though. We could add Adrian Sparks into the roster. Because we need a little bit of space here. A little bit of depth. How about that? How about that? What, still money on the table. There you go. You really want that, don't you? Well, I'm not going to give you all of that. Okay, add Adrian Sparks into the roster. Sparks. There you go, just in case. Because Basola and Rogers, I don't know about them. There you go, so our roster looks pretty good, I believe. I did check onto the lineup. Let's hope he gets some chemistry with Moutier and Steven Ferguson quickly. So I guess that was the trade deadline episode. I had to make one big trade because it's the last season. Why not? Make some moves. So I guess I'll end this episode off right here. So make sure to like and subscribe for more Washington Wizards My Jam Mode. And thanks for watching and I will see you later.